Well, Craig, we certainly left it late there, didn't we? Yeah, I think last kick of game. Uh, you know, I don't think. Listen, I, I'm glad we got the goal. Uh, I don't think we. I don't think we were great today. We had quite a lot of few players off the boil. The conditions weren't great neither to play in for both sides. Uh, and and they did. You know, Bidlington they defended for the lives really. You know, I think at the time they were probably in a back eight, back nine. You know, defending the six yard box. So it was very difficult for us to. You know, even create opportunities, get anywhere near it. Uh, so to pinch a come away with a point. You know, a point on the total, another point on the board. You know, I'm looking at it in a positive manner, and uh, yeah, it's another point towards his target. How much credit does go to Bridlington? Because obviously, they, they compact. It is a defensive unit that were compact, and going forward on the break, it was especially that second goal sort of mirrored the one they scored. Uh, yeah, yeah. Previous meeting. Yeah. Listen, they had a game plan coming here. You know, you could see those sitting date. We're going to see a compact and and give us limited chances. I think they also only wanted to play 15, 20 minutes per game. You know, with a with amount of times the ball off the pitch and, and gain it on and it kind of disrupted us a bit so you have to give credit to him and the game plan was pretty well uh, I'm quite disappointed in some of our gameplay today you know on that side of things but you know it's uh, what what can you say when the, the guys have come off a, a 19 win winning record <coughs> everyone's all an off day and you know ours were today lucky enough for us that you know, we didn't lose, came away with a point and uh, another point on, uh, you know, towards the total. Why do you think it didn't click for us as such today? I think, I, th I, th I think a mixture of things, I think a mixture of the, the conditions and where they set up, uh, you know, we just couldn't seem to get a grip of the ball and shift the ball and move it. I think we went too big too soon and the, probably the times that we needed to go big, well, probably at the end that got us the goal really and and uh, and putting pressure on them that way but I think we just needed to you know take probably that extra pass a little bit more and probably pass it a little bit more positively as well rather than you know probably a backward pass then to go forward maybe we could have gone forward a little bit quicker uh, but you know if these things come to happen it's again a point 24 hour rule tomorrow all gone focus on to the next game I'm thinking about that that obviously it's great to always score like a last minute goal to either win a game or <coughs> this instance draw it yeah. uh, how pleased were you for, for Josh Wilde to sort of get on the score sheet after you know he had that little spurt where he scored four in that quick succession yeah. um, to get back in, in the goals even though it was sort of a different um, yeah. goal what he scored compared to his last I was really pleased for Josh uh, he had he was struggling with a little bit of injury before the game so he's actually you know being patched up and thrown out so to get him the last goal, yeah, really pleased for him. Uh, and you know, what, I'm really, uh, what's really, really positive today, I'm really pleased for the whole squad today. Really pleased. You can see them all there, a last minute goal, never giving in. Just shows the attitude that they're in there, you know, that they're in this together, and that no matter what, even things are against us and things are not going our own way, but which doesn't always happen in football, you know. We've had it for 19 games where things have gone our own way. Today, things haven't, and they never gave in, never gave in to the last minute. So I'm really pleased what it showed me today and walking that change room at end just showed me you know all together really scrapping putting the bodies on the line for the you know five minutes in the injury time uh, you know you know hurting themselves putting you know blood on the faces and and trying everything to get that that, that goal to get us back in the game how hard can that be sometimes where <laughs> things are not really going your way as you, as you mentioned and you've, by that point it feels like we've tried everything rather than yeah. they, they've gone longer through through the channels and just miss them chances or the keepers having a great day like he did today. How much uh, effort and endeavour uh, does it have to come from deep within that? I think I think it's deep within the side and that's why there's so many leaders in there. Just will never give in. We'll stick to the game plan and work hard to to do that. And we we probably adapted the formation probably three or four times today to try and help the boys push them to to create opportunities and it just didn't work. You know, and I take responsibility for that. You know, but I think it's just pleasing that they. You know that they they never gave up. They just never gave in. And if we carry on with that attitude from now till end of the season, we'll be fine. Speaking of leaders, uh, Hamza <laughs> came back in and started for his first game for I think two or three <coughs> games. Yeah. Uh, how pleasing was it to see uh, your your skipper back uh, amongst the men? Yeah, I think it's always pleasing to have a, a captain in, back in your side. Uh, it's been a, a vital part for us all season. You know, a leader, a colossus. You know, a strong centre half. Uh, and it's really pleasing to be back in the side. I'm, you know, I'm hoping a good week underneath his belt training here, and then he's ready to go at the weekend. Uh, moving on to that game at the weekend, uh, Long Eaton United. 
uh, a team where we played in their place causes a lot of problems yep. uh, and we obviously got that, that sole goal. Uh, what are you expecting from them this time? Difficult game. I keep saying it every single week. There's no easy game at this level. There's so many teams that are very similar and have got probably strengths, different but good strengths. Uh, we already know what they're about. Uh, and we'll be preparing all week to, to face them so it's going to be a difficult game but we're home we've got to stay unbeaten here and we've got to come and try and get three points